G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here again with another Pathfinder Kingmaker video. Today we're talking about all things bows. We're looking at the differences between bows and crossbows in Pathfinder and uh, what my recommendations are of which ones you should use. Uh, you should be aware this is a little bit different in Pathfinder than it has been in some of the other D&D systems. Um, so if you're used to bows and those sorts of things from Neverwinter Nights 1, Neverwinter Nights 2, um, even back to Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale, some of the stuff here is a little bit different. Um, I'll cover those changes where possible. Um, so here we go. There are two main types of bow. There are the regular bows and the crossbows. So in the regular bows you have the short bow, which does 1d6 of damage and 40 foot range, and it crits on a 20 doing triple damage on a crit. The longbow is similar, it does 1d8 of damage, 50 foot of range, and again crits on a 20 with triple damage. So you've got progression from 1d6 to 1d8 worth of damage. The You've also got a composite short bow and composite longbow. These allow you to add your strength bonuses if you have them to the bow. Okay, so my character here at the moment has a strength modifier of plus two. That will be added to the damage of the bow. Um, I think I get another bonus for being an Eldritch Archer um, because it actually ends up being plus three when I put this bow on. Uh, sorry, this bow on. Um, and it will tell me... No. It doesn't tell me where it, what the damage is. But anyway, so... If you have high strength, three, four points of, of strength bonus, then composite weapons are a good choice. The crossbows, however, do the same damage no matter what. So you have 1d8 for the short crossbow, and it does, again, 50 foot range, and you have 1d10, even more than the longbow, for the heavy crossbow. Um, the heavy crossbow, uh, both the crossbows also have a larger crit range, and that's really important. They don't do as much crit damage, only twice the damage, but they crit on a 19 or a 20, rather than just the 20 of the longbow. They're heavier than, uh, than the standard bows, but that shouldn't uh, trouble you too much. What you need to be aware of, though, is with the standard bows, I've said with the composite bows, you can get a strength bonus, but with all of these bows, if you have a negative strength, such as uh, Lindsay here, who has minus one on her strength, that will reduce the damage that you do on all of the standard bows, but not on the crossbows. So if we switch to this short bow, for example, you'll see that she does 1d4 minus one so she's losing one point of damage there. She's also only doing 1d4 because she's a small character, and small characters do less damage. So once we go to the crossbow, though, she does 1d6 without the minus one. So there's a little bit of a logic problem there, because the idea is, is that characters that are... Well, first of all, the idea is if your strength is low and you have a negative value, then... You're go on the, the standard bows, you're going to do less damage. And that does make sense, right? But then the idea is, is that the small characters do less damage with all weapons as well because they are not as strong as a normal human. And that's the way to reflect that. The problem is, is that a crossbow is purely mechanical. So you have to draw the bow back to the same distance every time and lock it into the trigger mechanism. Um, that means that it doesn't matter whether a child shoots it, a halfling shoots it, an adult shoots it, or a giant shoots it, that bow is going to do the same damage every single time. So that's a bit of a logic problem there. We'll ignore that. Which bow should you use in which situations? If you are a character whose primary weapon is going to be your bow, I would recommend the crossbows, and in fact the heavy crossbow, over everything else. So while it only does 1d10 of damage, the crit is what 
ends up being important. If, however, you have a high strength modifier, so you've got plus three or more in strength, you might want to try a composite longbow to get that extra damage. You're not going to crit as often, but you're going to do more damage with every hit that you do. Because it brings up, in particular, that brings up the lower end of the damage. So 1d8 plus 3 means you're doing 4 to 11 rather than the 1 to 10 of a heavy crossbow. Okay, So that extra lower end damage can be useful. Um, if you're playing someone who's not a bow user at all or you've got low strength, you're better off going with the crossbows um, because you get the advantage of the crit from that and even the light crossbow which I think pretty much every character can use does 1d8 damage which is comparable to a straight up longbow so that is the better option in my opinion if you're playing a small character such as a halfling or a gnome, then you'll want to use the crossbows over the regular bows, and if possible, you'll want to use the heavy crossbow over the light crossbow, because then with the heavy crossbow, you're still going to be doing 1d8 of damage, uh, which is comparable to a medium-sized person using a light crossbow or a longbow. Um, the other thing to be aware of is the feats that revolve around these. So in previous uh, D&D based games there were a number of feats that you could use as an archer but some of them such as rapid shot were not available if you were using a crossbow. The reasoning was was that it's not really possible to load a crossbow very quickly and therefore you can't do some rapid shot type things. That's not a problem in Pathfinder. Pathfinder lets you do rapid shot with a crossbow um, because they have a slightly different uh, mechanic on how they handle combat in the round and so they allow you to do that. So even if you're playing um, an archery ranger, an eldritch archer, anyone who's relying on a large number of the archery feats I've yet to see an archery feat which wasn't available for the crossbows. So don't let that hold you back. Normally in the other game systems, Neverwinter Nights 1, Neverwinter Nights 2 for example, if I was playing an archer I'd always be using a composite longbow rather than a heavy crossbow because there were certain feats that weren't available for the crossbows but that's not in Pathfinder. So my recommendation is go with the heavy crossbows if you need the the, the power, if stick with crossbows if you don't have much strength. If you've got lots of strength though, pick a composite bow, uh, preferably a composite, composite longbow, and uh, above all, have fun guys. So I'll, if you've got any comments, let me know in the video, like and share this, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot guys, bye.